So I'm here with Craig Edwards after Kingstonian's 3-2 win here against Lowestoft. Craig, we played against 10 men for <coughs> 75 minutes today and we're losing was 15 minutes to go. Were you ever worried about not getting the, the three points today? Well, it was 75, 25th, wasn't it? You got sent off. 14, apparently. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I get a new watch. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I thought, to be fair, I thought we was in control before he went off. Obviously, <coughs> when he went off, it, you know, a lot of the time when you're playing against 10, it can be more difficult for you. But I thought we played some really, really good football. I thought we used the pitch well. I thought <clears throat> we looked like scoring on numerous occasions. I thought their keeper was absolutely outstanding. And I understand he was, uh, he's, he was at Kingston yeah. and uh, Rob's coaching him. So Robert, <laughs> uh, Rob got a, a bit of a bollocking for that. <laughs> You know, uh, but no, no, seriously, he was outstanding, their goalkeeper. And some of the saves he pulled out was incredible. And I did sort of think, cool, oh, he's having one of them days where <coughs> it might not go for us, but we kept chipping away. And what, what pleased me, because I said to him, even at half time with one all, I don't care if we win it the 89th minute, you keep playing how you are, you're going to get chances. We take the chances, we'll win the games. And it doesn't matter we win it in the 89th, the 93rd, or whatever. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going. <coughs> And um, <clears throat> what disappointed me the first half was the silly free kicks we were giving away, you know. And um, and I thought it was the only way they were going to score a goal was a set piece. <clears throat> and they we give them a free kick, and they, you know he's taken a decent free kick and scored. Um, so our response was fantastic. You know we come straight back, scored a real really good goal. You know Kane's arrived arrived, <clears throat> arrived late like he, he, he did for his other goal uh, last week. Um, I thought the, the three boys behind Tom up front were excellent. I thought they gave us a totally different dimension, um, <clears throat> and it looked like the pitch suited us, you know, which it hasn't, you know, in, in, in the way we've been playing. Um, <clears throat> so that was all very, very pleasing. I thought, like I say, we kept the ball well. We was patient. We did, you know, in the first half we tried to force it a couple of times when we didn't need to, and then uh, of course <clears throat> we've had a, a real sort of kick in the privates in the, early in the second half when he's been given a penalty which was outrageous it was wasn't even close to being a penalty and I mean he was he was outstanding from the boy Reed up front and uh, he's you know he's got the boy run up good but he's got no chance of getting the ball at all and he's run into him and just fell over you know and that was basically it <clears throat> and uh, I think the linesman on our side knew it was just never ever, ever close to being a pen and of course we're two one down and it gives them something to hang on to and they were they were fighting two for now but um, we brought uh, Saps on and uh, <clears throat> what he did against Cheson in a week when he came on he scored two goals he's come on he's, he's wrapped an header against the post fast stick and and um, Lou smashed it in and then got the winner you know so it's worked out really well but <clears throat> You know, we deserve to win the game, and with all due respect to Lowe's, I thought we were a lot better than them in the day. 10, 11, whatever, I thought we were a lot better side, and deserved the points, and uh, it's three wins on the trot. <coughs> and I thought today, other than the Billericay game, was our best performance, and today was our best performance offensively, you know, with, with the ball. We looked, we looked a decent side. And, uh, you know, so, so we've got 10 points from six games, which is a decent start. You know, don't tell the full story because our goal difference is abysmal after those two heavy defeats. But um, <clears throat> I was pleased with the day because it, it, it don't always work with, when you bring boys in, and particularly changing the formation, but it worked well for us today. So um, I was pleased with that. You mentioned the new boys. So Jerome Federico playing on the right and Tom Collins playing number 10. How happy were you with their two performances? Really pleased, really pleased. I want you... Um, early doors, Jerome, I thought, was dropping too deep and we wanted to get him in areas where we could... Because we've got boys who can pass the ball, we were giving the ball. But he was a constant menace for him. Um, I thought Tom was, was really, really clever. And, I mean, the goal, or sorry, the save to mm. keep his ball out would, is, is stopped what would have been an absolutely unbelievable goal. It was just tremendous. And, and the composure he showed, you know, look, <coughs> earlier in the season, I was saying we're just smashing shots against bodies. But he's shown great composure, great skill, it's a great finish, and 
keep it something incredibly well to chip it onto the bar and look for the corner. And I think 10 minutes later, I think he's pulled out arguably even a better save at the bottom, in the bottom left hand corner. So his, his contribution was, was, was really pleasing. Paul Kane was excellent. I thought the three of them were, were excellent. Tom works his socks up as he does up front. <coughs> and, uh, and, you know, and I'll, I'll give a special mention to Tom Hope, who I thought was, did a fantastic job. You know, bearing in mind he hasn't kicked the ball. And, um, <coughs> you know, obviously we lost Paul Rogers and um, we lost Paul Rogers and uh, Pagey uh, today. So, <coughs> To, to have to sort of revamp it a little bit. He's, he's come and he's done ever so well. Getting Goody back was a bonus. And it's Jack Parter's last game today and I thought he was terrific. <coughs> and was that injuries for um, Rogers and Paige? No, uh, Paul Rogers had a wedding <coughs> and uh, Paige had to work. Which, you know, they, these things happen, but it's, it's so disappointing. I've, I've sat around, but I can't remember <coughs> in seven years at Villa, where we lost a player to to anything other than injury or suspension. And then I came in a lot and we had six massive games last season. Second game, Ryan Moss is at a wedding. This is quite deep into the season. And the last game, and I've, I've gone mad about that, and as we come out of that meeting, <coughs> Alan Innes has hit me with, well, you ain't gonna like what I say, I'm gonna miss the Evan game now at that time. I thought that could be the game that we need to get points to keep us up. I said, I said, you're kidding me. You can't, you can't miss that. He said, well, I didn't think we'd be in this situation. I said, that's a matter. You've, you've got to look at, there's very, very few sides going into the last game of the season that are not playing for something. They, they've got a chance for the playoffs or <clears throat> they've got to get points to stay up. You know, it's, uh, and it's, <clears throat> it's uh, and I thought it, was, it just might be a Kingstonian thing. But, you know, Paul Rogers has come in, he's missed two games in, in one month alone with me. Page is at the miss today, but I spoke to two managers, uh, the Leicester manager, and he's he's got a player out with something, I think, got a wedding or something, and spoke to Rod Stringer at Chelsea to do the top of the conference there, and he's, I think he's lost his skipper who's got to go and work in Texas. So, it's not just us, I just think it's how it is, Football these days. I mean, when I play, it's two things. You know, if, if people got married in the season, they they knew I weren't going. And if they got married in the season, as far as I was concerned, they didn't want me to go because they got married in the season, so I ain't going. You know, but it's uh, it, you know, society's changed now. I can't blame it, I suppose, but it's it's really disappointing when you lose players to anything. Well, it's disappointing enough injuries. In suspension. So I've told the boys, so there's only two players I hate, two types of players I hate, and it's ex players and injured players. So don't get injured, mm. don't lose. You know, so, uh, <coughs> yeah, so, anyway. Um, so 15 minutes to go, and, you, and, and Saps comes on today and knocks the header off the post, and we knock in the rebound, and then scores the winner. Do you, do you see him as kind of an ideal plan B for scenarios like this? Is that his that, is best role? Well, at the moment, until he gets himself fitter, you know, but what an option to have. I mean, because mm. Ricky is one of the most talented players I've ever had. He's got everything, you know. And, <clears throat> you know, but he's, he, he's obviously, he picks up a lot of injuries and with that he loses his fitness. And it's difficult, it's tough for him, you know, but technically, I mean, two, totally two-footed, strong as a ball, great in the air, and he can finish. You know, and um, I mean, he was outstanding with me uh, in the previous club, and he's. You know, I mean, if we can get him fitter and fitter and start getting utilising him more and more, fantastic. But what an option to add to come off the bench, and he's 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 definitely made it count today, and you know, albeit at a lesser level in a friendly in the week. You mentioned um, when we spoke during the week that you've got. You had a few players training and players coming in. Can we expect to see a few new faces, or do you feel after today that that's a team that you kind of settle with for the foreseeable? Well, um, you know, there's a, an issue where we're, we're going to extend Paul Rogers' um, loan, um, having missed sort of two of the four weeks, you know, because we need we need more commitment. You know, so if he can commit to us, I'm going to have a chat with him tomorrow, and we'll 
we'll see how the ground lies. <coughs> um, Pagey will be back. Um, so we, you know, if we can keep Tom, Tom is very much like Sachs, they pick up injuries. And uh, if we can keep him relatively fit, if we can keep, um, um, I think midfield-wise, we look we look well set. Down the sides, we look well set. Um, I thought our best player at Chesham was, was Cole Spence. I thought he was exceptional. But, um, you know, and funny, ironically, we was um, bringing him on just before we scored the third goal. We were bringing him and Alec Fiddis on. But <clears throat> when we scored, we sort of had a rethink and, and, and kept it as it was. And, uh, you know, I think all those areas, we've got cover, we've got good quality. But we have got a seven there in for, for one more lead in one area that I'm, I'm, I'm looking that I think we need more competition. And I'll have an answer tonight whether he's going to sign for us or not. But hopefully, fingers crossed, he will. And, and Gibraltar International, Evan Green, to come in Yes, as well. of course, yeah, Evan. You know, I mean, uh, Evan's, um, he, he came in and trained with us. I mean, he played this time last week, he was playing against Bosnia. <laughs> You know, Eddie and Jack, Jack O scoring the first goal, I mean, they had a, a good few Premiership players. And what a wonderful experience that was for him. You know, I think it was only 2-0 when he went off in the 80th minute. So, <clears throat> the other two goals were, were down to the decision to take him <laughs> off. But, uh, no, I mean, uh, but yeah, I mean, he's, he came in, he looked a little bit weary, to be honest, uh, on Thursday. And I said to him, look, um, and, and the game's played at a different um, tempo over there. It's a, it's a totally different game. So I said, look, I want you to come in uh, today and Monday. Um, unless we pick up injuries, you will be, you know, we're basically uh, just training. And then we're hoping to get a friendly on Wednesday, give him 90 minutes in, and ease him into it. You know, and, uh, <clears throat> but he's a, he's a very talented player, obviously, you know, at the level he's played at. So he's, a, he's another big, big plus for us. And, uh, but those, those areas, that midfield areas, if you took, he was one of the three or four, um, and you've got the three that were in there, you've got, you know, you've got Alec, you've got Carl, you've got Charlie on the line. <clears throat> so we've, we've got some, some great options, you know, Jack goes back today, but um, Toby will go back in. <clears throat> you've got Toby, you know, and, um, and if Paul Rogers comes in, you know, you've got good, he can play either side. So we're, we're well covered, but um, yeah, we're looking to bring one more player in. And, and if we can keep playing like this, I don't see any need that we'd have to look any further. <coughs> Great, well, three wins in a row. Um, yeah. On to Monday, another winnable game. We'll see them. Yes, please God, and uh, <laughs> hopefully we, we, you know, don't put me through the mile like they, they tend to do every time. Great. Yeah, thanks, Ace. Great. Cheers. See you Monday. Cheers. Yeah.